This Supreme Court case is ostensibly about wedding cakes, and it certainly is, but it's about much more. It pits a baker's First Amendment right of free speech against a gay couple's right to service. Charlie Craig and Dave Mullins were organizing a wedding reception for themselves and were referred by their wedding planner to the masterpiece Cake Shop, known in particular for its wedding cakes. When Dave and Charlie and Charlie's mother arrived at the shop, the owner of the bakery, Jack Phillips, greeted them politely. But Jack believes that same-sex marriages are sinful and contends that to require him to create a cake for a same-sex wedding reception violates his First Amendment right of free speech and religion. The state of Colorado, however, has a public accommodations law that bars discrimination against individuals based on race, gender, religion, or sexual orientation. For over 50 years, the Supreme Court has ruled against people who claim that their sincere beliefs prevent them from serving customers on an equal basis. In this case, Jack argues that he's perfectly willing to sell gay couples pre-made items from the cooler, but he maintains that his constitutional rights are violated if he's forced to use his artistry as a cake creator to further a cause he doesn't believe in, namely gay marriage. Jack agrees there was no discussion of what the cake would say or look like in this case, but he says the specifics aren't the point. Making the cake itself is a message. Charlie and Dave say he's free to reject designs he finds objectionable, but they say any cake that he would sell to a straight couple, he also has to sell to a gay couple. And the state of Colorado agrees, arguing that the baker's artistry is irrelevant no different than if an artist offered to paint people at his gallery for a fee, but refused to paint African Americans. The late Justice Antonin Scalia, a conservative icon, wrote in a 1990 opinion, Conscientious scruples have not in the course of the long struggle for religious toleration relieved the individual from obedience to a general law not aimed at the promotion or restriction of religious beliefs. Ironically, it was the court's most liberal justices who partially dissented from that decision. While the conservatives then wanted a clear-cut rule, the liberals wanted something more flexible. Now the tables are turned, and it is conservative legal theorists who are pressing for a constitutional exemption to a broad general law. Nina Totenberg, NPR News, Washington.